Welcome to Torcron. If you're a traveler and love nature, then you're at the right place. Please subscribe to us and press the bell icon. In this video, we will cover the coldest places that are not just cold, but full of adventures and beautiful places too. In these cold places, you'll witness jaw-dropping northern lights, beautiful landscapes, and many other things. If you enjoy the cold or just want to experience new things, then keep watching and let us know your thoughts too. These are our picks for the top 30 coldest places to visit in the world. Lapland Situated within the Arctic Circle in Finland is a region defined by its sub-Arctic wilderness. The vast expanse of snowy terrain and dense forest is home to the indigenous Sami people, who have maintained their traditional practices of reindeer herding and handicrafts for generations. The Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis are a significant draw for visitors. This natural light display resulting from the collision of solar particles in the atmosphere illuminates the night sky in vibrant colors, creating a breathtaking visual experience. Lapland offers a variety of winter activities that attract tourists from around the globe. Dog sledding across the frozen landscape provides an adrenaline rush, while ice fishing on the region's numerous lakes offers a more tranquil pursuit. The Santa Claus Village in Ravanami is a popular destination, especially for families, where the festive spirit is celebrated year-round. The region's flora and fauna have adapted to the harsh climatic conditions. Pine and spruce trees dominate the landscape, and the fauna includes reindeer, which play a crucial role in Sami culture and livelihoods. Traditional Finnish saunas are a common feature in Lapland, providing a necessary respite from the cold. These saunas are an integral part of Finnish culture, promoting relaxation and well-being. Lapland's conservation efforts aim to preserve its unique environment and cultural heritage. Sustainable tourism practices are encouraged to ensure that the region's natural beauty and indigenous practices are protected for future generations. Reykjavik A common geographical mix-up leads many to believe that Reykjavik is nestled into the borders of Norway. However, Reykjavik, with its geothermal wonders and vibrant culture, is the capital of Iceland. Let's delve into the distinct characteristics of these two Nordic regions. Norway, known for its stunning fjords, glaciers, and expansive snowy landscapes, is a haven for those seeking the serene beauty of the Arctic. The fjords, such as Gearanger Fjord and Nerja Fjord, are steep valleys carved by glacial activity, filled with seawater. These natural wonders are contrasted by the icy allure of glaciers like Jostel del Spreen, Europe's largest glacier, Reykjavik, on the other hand, is celebrated for its geothermal pools, such as the Blue Lagoon, where locals and tourists alike bask in the warm, mineral-rich waters amidst the chilly surroundings. The city is a hub of culture with a lively art scene, modernist architecture, and a rich history that dates back to Viking times. The climate of Norway, particularly in its coastal regions, is significantly influenced by the Gulf Stream. This ocean current brings milder winters compared to other regions in the same latitude. Coastal cities like Bergen experience wet and cool conditions, while the inland areas can be much colder. While Reykjavik is a part of Iceland's rich tapestry, both Norway and Iceland offer unique experiences shaped by their cold climates. From Norway's fjords and winter festivals to Reykjavik's geothermal pools and cultural vibrancy, each destination presents a distinct allure to those seeking to explore the chillier corners of our planet. Denali. In the heart of Alaska, the pristine wilderness of Denali National Park stretches over 6 million acres, a sanctuary of untamed beauty and rugged landscapes. Dominating this expanse is Denali, North America's highest peak, standing majestically at 20,310 feet. Denali, formerly known as Mount McKinley, is not just a mountain, but a formidable challenge. Climbers from around the globe are drawn to its icy slopes seeking to conquer its summit. The ascent is treacherous, with unpredictable weather and crevice-riddled glaciers, testing the mettle of even the most seasoned mountaineers. The park itself is a mosaic of ecosystems, 
from taiga forests to alpine tundras. Wildlife thrives here, with grizzly bears, caribou, and wolves roaming freely. Bird watchers find solace in spotting golden eagles and pardamagans, while the rivers team with salmon. Indigenous communities such as the Athabascans have revered this land for centuries. Their rich traditions and stories echo through time, painting Denali as a sacred place that has sustained their people both physically and spiritually. Denali's weather is extreme as its landscapes. Temperatures can plummet to a bone-chilling negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, and snowstorms can appear seemingly out of nowhere. Stories of survival against these harsh elements resonate with the indomitable spirit of adventure. Winter activities in Denali are a magnet for thrill-seekers. Dog sledding, cross-country skiing, and snowshoeing offer exhilarating experiences against the backdrop of the awe-inspiring Alaskan wilderness. Alan Batar, a chill in the air announces the arrival of winter in Alan Batar, Mongolia's capital. Known for enduring some of the planet's most frigid temperatures, here the mercury can plunge to a staggering negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest capitals on Earth. The cityscape is a blend of modernity and tradition, where Mongolian jurors or portable felt dwellings stand in stark contrast to rising skyscrapers. These gurs, insulated with layers of felt and canvas, have sheltered nomadic families from harsh winters for centuries. The nomadic lifestyle is a deeply ingrained in Mongolian culture. Families traverse the vast steppes, herding livestock and adapting seamlessly to that biting cold. Their resilience is a testament to human adaptability as they thrive in a climate that fluctuates from freezing winters to short, warm summers. The Nadam Festival is a cultural highlight where the three games of men, wrestling, horse racing, and archery are celebrated with fervor. This festival rooted in nomadic traditions is a vibrant display of Mongolian heritage and a tribute to their enduring spirit. However, Alan Batar faces challenges. Rapid urbanization and climate change strain the city's infrastructure and threaten the traditional ways of life. The cold necessitates coal burning, leading to air pollution that hangs heavily over the city. The steppes surrounding Alan Batar are home to unique wildlife, such as the Przewalski's horse, the last truly wild horse species. Their survival, like that of the nomadic people, hinges on the delicate balance between tradition and modernity. In Alan Batar, the cold is not just a weather condition. It's a backdrop against which the drama of survival, tradition, and change unfolds. Hallstatt, nestled between the Dachstein Alps and the tranquil Hallstatter Sea, the village of Hallstatt is a serene tableau of natural beauty and cultural richness. This Austrian gem, with its UNESCO World Heritage status, is a haven where history and nature converge harmoniously. The landscape is a breathtaking canvas of snow-draped mountains, mirrored on the placid lake below. Hallstatt's charm lies not just in its scenic allure, but also in its historical tapestry. The village is renowned for its ancient salt mines, which date back over 7,000 years. These mines, among the world's oldest, have shaped the community's fortunes and are integral to its identity. Australian winter's customs come alive in Hallstatt, where traditional festivities infuse the cold air with warmth and joy. From Christmas markets adorned with twinkling lights to hearty alpine cuisine, the village embraces its cultural heritage with pride. The architecture of Hallstatt is a visual narrative of its rich past. Quaint houses with ornate woodwork and frescoes line the narrow streets, each telling a story of times gone by. The iconic evangelical parish church with its steeple piercing the sky stands as a symbol of the village's enduring spirit. Winter sports enthusiasts find solace in the surrounding region, where skiing, snowboarding, and ice skating opportunities abound. The crisp air and powdery snow provide the perfect backdrop for these exhilarating activities. In Hallstatt, every snowflake seems to carry a piece of history, and every cobblestone street echoes with tales of a vibrant cultural heritage. Whitefish In the heart of Montana, the town of Whitefish transforms into a winter wonderland, drawing adventure seekers and nature enthusiasts alike. With its pristine landscapes and vibrant community spirit, 
Whitefish is a destination where the chill in the air is met with warmth in every smile. The Whitefish Mountain Resort perched on Big Mountain is a focal point of the town's winter allure. With slopes catering to skiers and snowboarders of all skill levels, the resort is a hub of adrenaline and excitement. The meticulously groomed trails and panoramic views of Glacier National Park create an unparalleled experience. Winter sports are the heartbeat of Whitefish. The town is abuzz with activity as locals and visitors alike take to the slopes, trails, and frozen lakes. Skiing, snowboarding, and ice fishing are not just pastimes, but a way of life here. The community in Whitefish is tightly knit, and cultural events are a testament to the town's lively spirit. From winter carnivals to art walks, the town is a canvas of celebration and artistic expression. Whitefish is a haven for wildlife. The surrounding forests and lakes are home to a diverse array of creatures, from elk to bald eagles, each adapting to the frosty clime in their unique ways. The historical Great Northern Railway has left an indelible mark on Whitefish. The town, originally a railway hub, has evolved while cherishing its roots. The charming train depot stands as a reminder of the town's journey from a railroad stop to a beloved winter retreat. Jigo Kudani Monkey Park Nestled in the snowy valleys of Japan's Nagano Prefecture, Jigo Kudani Monkey Park offers an enchanting spectacle. Wild snow monkeys, or Japanese macaques, basking in steaming hot springs. This site, unique to Jigokudani, captivates visitors and provides a rare glimpse into the lives of these resilient primates. The park, whose name translates to Hell Valley, is home to a troop of macaques known for their distinctive red faces and gray fur. These intelligent creatures have learned to combat the region's harsh winters, where temperatures can plummet to negative 15 degrees Celsius or 5 degrees Fahrenheit by seeking refuge in the naturally occurring on sun or hot springs. Observing the snow monkeys at Chigokudani, one can't help but be fascinated by their social behaviors and clear adaption to the cold. They groom each other, play, and soak in the warm waters, seemingly oblivious to the human onlookers. Monkeys hold a special place in Japanese folklore and are often depicted as clever and mischievous beings. The snow monkeys of Jigo Kudani, with their human-like expressions and behaviors, bring these tales to life. Conservation is at the heart of Jigo Kudani Monkey Park. Researchers and conservationists study the macaques, aiming to understand their needs and ensure their survival amidst changing environmental conditions. Beyond the park, the surrounding region offers a plethora of winter attractions, from traditional Ryukan inns to ski resorts making it a favored destination for tourists. However, the influx of visitors necessitates a delicate balance to ensure that the impact of tourism doesn't disrupt the local wildlife. The park encourages respectful observation, ensuring that the snow monkeys can continue to thrive in their unique sanctuary. Lake Tahoe Nestled in the Sierra Nevada mountains, Lake Tahoe stands as a testament to nature's icy artistry. In winter, the region dons a frosty mantle, transforming the landscape into a realm of icy splendor. The lake, known for its strikingly clear and deep blue waters, is surrounded by snow-covered peaks that glisten under the winter sun. The lake, the largest alpine lake in North America, is encircled by renowned ski resorts such as Heavenly, Squaw Valley, and North Star. Here, the cold is not just a condition but a canvas for recreation. Skiers carve through snow that sparkles like diamonds and snowboarders navigate trails dusted with fresh powder. The chill in the air is met with exhilaration as families engage in snowshoeing and sledding amidst the frosted pines. The Washoe tribe, who have revered Lake Tahoe as a sacred site for over 6,000 years, named it Da Awaga, acknowledging the cold, clear waters. Their historical connection to this icy land speaks of a deep respect and an enduring stewardship. The lake's unique ecosystem, thriving even in the biting cold, is subject to conservation efforts aimed at preserving its icy clarity and diverse inhabitants. The cold season brings its own challenges, with invasive species and pollution threatening the frozen tranquility. Winter in Lake Tahoe is also a time for cold weather celebrations. 
Events like the Snow Globe Music Festival echo amidst the icy landscapes, bringing warmth to the wintry expanse. In Lake Tahoe, the cold is not a deterrent, but an invitation. A call to witness a place where icy waters, snowy slopes, and cultural richness converge in a frosty spectacle. Utkiavik In the far reaches of Alaska, where the Arctic Ocean meets the North American landmass, lies Utkiavik, formerly known as Barrow. This remote city, the northernmost in the United States, is a place where the sun bows for over 65 days, casting the land into the ethereal polar night. Utkavik's extreme cold conditions are nothing short of formidable. With temperatures often plummeting below freezing, the city is enveloped in a perpetual icy embrace. The sea freezes and the tundra is blanketed in a layer of snow that seems to stretch into infinity. The Inupiat people, resilient and deeply connected to this icy terrain, have thrived here for centuries. Their subsistence lifestyle, centered around whaling and fishing, is a dance with the elements, a testament to human adaptability. Traditional practices, such as the sharing of whale meat among the community, continue to be a vital part of life. Yet the Arctic region is a bellwether for climate change, and Uktkavik finds itself on the front lines. The receding ice and shifting patterns are more than just data points, they are alterations to a way of life. The unique wildlife of Uktavik, from majestic polar bears to cunning Arctic foxes, navigate this frosty landscape with an ease that belays the harshness of their surroundings. Their survival, too, is intertwined with the cold and ice. Scientific research conducted here delves into these rapid changes. Researchers drawn to this icy frontier seek to understand the shifts occurring in this delicate ecosystem. Uktavik, a place of enduring cold and resilient communities, stands as a living laboratory and a stark reminder of the profound ties between humans and the environment. Nur Sultan The capital of Kazakhstan emerges like a vision from the icy steppes, its skyline a dazzling display of architectural innovation. Once a modest town, this city has rapidly evolved into a metropolis where futuristic structures command attention against the backdrop of the vast Kazakh landscape. The city's transformation is nothing short of remarkable. Iconic structures such as the Beiterek Tower, a distinctive monument and observation tower, and the Palace of Peace and Reconciliation, a symbolic pyramid, punctuate the cityscape with their bold designs. Winter in Nur Sultan is a fierce affair, with temperatures plunging into the depths of the cold. Yet the city sands resilient, its buildings designed not only for visual appeal, but also to withstand the harsh climactic conditions. Cultural landscapes seamlessly integrate into the city's modern aesthetic. The Hazrat Sultan Mosque and the Kazakhstan Central Concert Hall echo traditional Kazakh motifs while contributing to the city's contemporary identity. Winter festivities are a heartwarming blend of traditional Kazakh celebrations, bringing light and joy to the frigid days and long nights. Nur Sultan is also a champion of sustainable living and green technologies. The city proudly hosted Expo 2017, centered around the theme Future Energy, showcasing its commitment to a sustainable future. In this city, the cold winters serve as a canvas to a dynamic and evolving metropolis. Tradition and modernity intertwine gracefully, creating a unique and captivating experience that is both rooted in history and ambitiously looking forward. The South Pole The South Pole, situated in Antarctica, is the iciest place on Earth. It is the coldest known place that people on the globe inhabit. This unique climactic conditions and geographical location are primarily the cause of the thrilling cold at the South Pole. The South Pole can drop a staggering low temperature in the winter months, hovering around negative 60 degrees Celsius. June and July are the coldest months, and the temperatures can drop below negative 80 degrees Celsius. The hardest are temperatures due to polar night, where the South Pole experiences complete darkness for some months, intensifying cold due to heat that escapes to space.
Human habitation and scientific research have been very challenging due to the place's extreme temperatures. Research personnel experience several adversities, such as severe cold and logistics difficulties that make life unbearable at the South Pole. And despite these intolerable conditions, the South Pole is the ideal site for several scientific experiments and observations, mainly in climate research. The freezing environment is suitable for research on Earth's climate and gives an excellent opportunity for understanding the effect of global warming. South Pole's reputation as one of the most extreme cold places is due to its freezing nature. Valbarg Situated in Norwegian sovereignty is the most extreme coldest inhabited place on Earth. Due to its high latitude and closeness to the North Pole, marked by long, brutal winters, it experiences freezing climate conditions. Valbard experiences bitterly cold winters with typical freezing temperatures of negative 20 to negative 30 degrees Celsius. In the darkest months, the polar night envelops the region, providing nearly continuous darkness. The cold intensifies when the extended darkness period merged with the northern latitude. However, it also forms ideal conditions for experiencing the mesmeric northern lights, making Svalbard a destination for Arctic enthusiasts. Even though Svalbard experiences a frigid climate, it is not devoid of human habitation. Long Year Bien, the largest settlement in Svalbard, boasts modern amenities and infrastructure, allowing people to thrive in these extreme conditions. The town is armed with heated facilities to support residents' survival. Daily life is greatly impacted significantly by the extreme cold, and residents must adapt to the unique Arctic living. Despite the challenges of extreme cold temperatures in Svalbard, it also makes the archipelago a destination for those seeking the quintessential Arctic experience. The harsh climate, the presence of polar bears, and the pristine wilderness makes Valbard a unique site where guests get to appreciate the beauty of the Arctic and understand the challenges native inhabitants face. Lake Baikal Located in Russia, is regarded as the oldest, deepest freshwater lake and the coldest place in the world. The lake, a stunning natural wonder, epitomizes coldness in many aspects. It is situated in Siberia, Russia. The most notable feature of Lake Baikal's apathy is the water's temperature. During the height of summer, the lake's surface temperature rarely exceeds 12 to 14 degrees Celsius. In winter, a transparent blue ice is formed due to the freezing water's surface. The freezing in late autumn and the ice can reach thicknesses of over one meter, tolerating various winter activities such as ice diving and skating, and allowing vehicles passage on the frozen surface. Lake Baikal is the world's deepest freshwater lake, plunging to over 1,642 meters at its maximum depth. During the short Siberian summer, the low temperatures are maintained by the sheer volume of cold water it contains. Lake Baikal is also the oldest freshwater lake in the world. The combination of its depth, old age, and isolation has contributed to its unique and diverse ecosystem. Various cold water species such as the Baikal seal, a freshwater seal, inhabit the lake. Lake Baikal's extreme coldness is an excellent example of harsh natural phenomena on our planet. Both scientifically and aesthetically, it is a site of immense significance because it provides a breathtaking illustration of the enormous impacts of terrain and climate on the ecosystem. Matanuska Glacier Tourists usually experience Matanuska Glacier in Alaska, USA. The bitter cold of glacial ice despite not being considered the coldest place on Earth. This glacier northeast of Anchorage is a breathtaking example of severe cold related to ice and the cryosphere. Matanuska Glacier is the most accessible glacier in Alaska and is a component of the Chugach Mountain Range. During the summer, where the surrounding region may experience warmer weather, the glacier remains significantly colder. The ice maintains a frigid temperature, often hovering below freezing throughout the year. Visitors to Matanuska Glacier can experience this coldness firsthand by walking on the glacier's surface. Guided tours and excursions provide an up-close encounter with the glacier's icy features, deep crevices, and ice caves. And visitors are outfitted with clothing to cope with this cold weather. The distinct microclimate and natural development of Matanuska Glacier contribute to its extreme cold. 
The frigid conditions are seen in Madanesca Glacier's high elevation and geographic location within a state recognized for having a cold climate. Madanesca Glacier symbolizes one of the most complex locations due to its icy surroundings. It allows visitors to witness the chilling beauty and raw power of glacial ice, making it a fascinating destination for those seeking a first-hand encounter with extreme coldness in a breathtaking natural setting. Greenland Greenland is the coldest and largest island on the planet. The cool temperatures of this Arctic region are due to the wintertime temperatures as low as negative 30 degrees. The ocean currents around the island in high latitude. The vast polar ice sheet covering most of the island is the leading cause of Greenland's extreme cold temperatures. Greenland's ice sheet is second in size only to that of Antarctica, which is the largest globally. During the brief summer months, the ice and snow cover the landscape, reflecting sunlight and maintaining lower temperatures. This ice sheet is a unique characteristic of Greenland's cold environment. The glacial landscape of Greenland is another testament to its frigid climate. Massive glaciers flow through the terrain, creating towering icebergs and carving deep fjords that reflect sunlight and preserve a polar environment. Cold currents like the East Greenland Current and the West Greenland Current originate in the Arctic Ocean and flow along the coast, helping maintain frigid sea temperatures and can also impact the island's weather patterns. It also experiences extreme variations in daylight throughout the year. During the summer months, the island is bathed in 24-hour light, known as the midnight sun. These variations in sunlight are a natural feature that characterizes the Arctic environment. And despite its extreme cold, Greenland has immense natural beauty, unique ecosystems, and a rich cultural heritage. It offers opportunities for adventure, wildlife observation, and scientific research. It's a captivating destination for those who seek to experience the raw and rugged beauty of the Arctic. Oymyakon A remote village in the Sakha Republic of Russia it is one of the places on Earth that exhibit frigid temperatures, making it an example of harsh human living conditions. Aymayakan's extreme cold is primarily due to its geographic location and elevation. It is in a high latitude region within the Arctic Circle, where winters are incredibly harsh. During the peak of winter, temperatures in Oymyakon can plummet to astonishing lows, often dropping below negative 50 degrees Celsius or negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowest recorded temperature in the populated region was in February of 1933, with extremely low temperatures of negative 67.7 degrees Celsius or negative 89.9 degrees Fahrenheit. In this harsh environment, it's hard to survive. Oi Maya Khan's residents have adapted to these conditions using technology like vehicles equipped with special antifreeze fuels, heated garages to prevent engines from freezing, and even heated pipelines to ensure a constant water supply. The residents also wear hot clothing, often made of animal fur, to protect themselves from this brutal cold. Despite the challenging climate, Oi Maya Khan has become a place of fascination for adventurers and scientists. The village serves as a unique laboratory for studying the impacts of extreme cold on humans and equipment. Tourists also visit to experience the incredible cold, witness frozen landscapes, and interact with the resilient locals. In summary, Oi Maya Khan Russia is synonymous with extreme cold, boasting some of the most frigid temperatures ever recorded in an inhabited place. Its hostile climate and the resourcefulness of its residents make it a testament to human adaptability and a captivating destination for those intrigued by the harsh realities of living in the world's coldest places. Kusamo The charming village of Kusamo, located in northeastern Finland, is frequently connected to the region's typical climate and chilly winters. Kusamo experiences many cold and extreme temperatures due to its high latitude location. The subarctic of Kusomo's environment provides snowy winters and cold and pleasant summers, which is the leading cause of the city's coldness. The famous Kusomo town sits in the northeastern part of the northern Ostrobothnia region and north of the Arctic Circle. The climate is majorly influenced by the polar air mass. 
causing the winter season to be the longest. During winter, the average low temperature is between negative 10 and negative 20 degrees Celsius, which is much below the freezing point. The town's meteorological data frequently referenced the adjacent Kusomo Airport. The area's many lakes and forests add to the already frigid climate by facilitating snow buildup and solidifying the subarctic environment. Kusomo's winters are not only bitterly cold, but also incredibly snowy, creating a perfect paradise for lovers of winter activities. The Ruka Nordic Ski Competitions, cross-country skiing paths, and snowshoeing chances are some of the region's most well-known features. The frigid climate has a significant influence on the way of life and culture of Kusomo. The town's population enjoys winter sports and ice fishing in the snowy conditions since they are well prepared for the cold. Residents of Kusomo benefit from warm apparel, winter gear, and a strong feeling of community, which not only helps them survive the winter, but also embrace and enjoy it. In conclusion, despite not being the coldest place on earth, Kusomo feels a great deal of hard because of its high latitude and subarctic environment. The town's enjoyment of winter activities, snowy surroundings, and chilly winters make it a perfect representation of living in a subarctic setting in northern Finland. Long Year Ben Undoubtedly is one of the coldest locations on Earth to live in. The most significant settlement in Norway's Svalbard Island, life in this isolated Arctic hamlet is characterized by its Arctic temperatures, frozen landscapes, and intense cold. Long Year Bien's cold climate result from its high latitude Arctic position. Situated negative 78 degrees north latitude, this small village is subject to some of the world's most intense cold. In Long Year Bien, wintertime lows of negative 20 degrees Celsius are not uncommon. The town experiences nearly constant darkness throughout the Arctic night, which makes the already frigid weather even more intense. Much of the town's extreme cold is sustained by the effect of the surrounding glacial landscapes and the Arctic Ocean. The polar ice cover of the archipelago and the abundance of glaciers contribute to the year-round cold. The town's ecosystem and weather are affected by the freezing seas of the Arctic Ocean and the ice that collects in the winter. The intense cold of Long Year Bien affects not just the region's climate, but also its way of life. To survive this bitter cold, residents must adjust to these difficult circumstances and ensure their buildings, cars, and other infrastructure are prepared. Long Year Bien residents dress warmly and drive vehicles equipped with anti-freeze fuels since they are accustomed to the unique requirements of living in the Arctic. Long Year Bien is a location of scientific importance and natural beauty, despite its extreme cold. It acts as a center for Arctic research, drawing scholars and scientists from worldwide who work on various subjects such as polar ecology and climate change. Adventuresome people who want to witness the unadulterated beauty of the bitter cold are also drawn to the bleak landscapes and vastness of the Arctic. To sum up, one of the coldest places on Earth to live is Long Yerbien, Norway, which is distinguished by its Arctic environment, frozen scenery, and intense cold. For individuals who want to learn about the experience living in some of the world's coldest climates, the town is a fascinating trip due to its hardiness, scientific significance, and distinct Arctic beauty. Abisko Located in Sweden, it's famous for its cold Arctic climate, hence the coldest place in Scandinavia. Abisko, located within the Arctic Circle, experiences a unique mixture of geographical and climactic factors contributing to its coldness. The chilly climate is mainly a result of its high latitude of 68 degrees north. This location places the village well above the Arctic Circle and exposes it to the frigid air masses of the polar region. Winter temperatures in Abisko are low, ranging from negative 10 to negative 20 degrees Celsius. Temperatures can drop even further during the darkest months, hence the extreme cold is expected. Abisko proximity to Lake Tornatrask is also a key factor to its extreme coldness. Radiational cooling is a wonder where the Earth's surface loses heat rapidly, leading to colder temperatures that contribute to the presence of Lake Tornatrask. 
This effect is noticeable in winter, enhancing the village's chilly climate. Abisko National Park surrounds Abisko, famous for its pristine wilderness and the well-known northern lights. The cold climate and clear skies offer an ideal environment for experiencing this spectacular natural phenomenon. Winters are long and cold, but somewhat moderated by mild Gulf Stream air from the west. Abisko has a milder annual mean temperature than municipal seat Karuna, despite the chilly summers. It's also a good spot for winter sports enthusiasts. The village hosts the annual Jal Raven Classic, a renowned long-distance trek drawing participants worldwide to brave the cold and rugged landscapes. Yellowknife Located in Canada, it's famous for its extreme cold, making it the coldest place inhabited in North America. In the subarctic region, Yellowknife's climate is characterized by long, severe winters and freezing temperatures that are evident of the northern frontier lifestyle. Yellowknife's cold temperature is attributed to its high latitude location, which places it well into the subarctic region. Winters are fierce, with average temperatures dropping to negative 20 to negative 30 degrees Celsius and below negative 40 degrees during cold months. The Arctic Circle and the surrounding landscape influence the city's cold climate. The icy conditions in the region contribute to boreal forest, numerous lakes, and vast expanses of tundra that promote radiational cooling, where the Earth's surface loses heat rapidly under clear skies. This phenomenon enhances the already cold climate, especially during winter nights. Yellowknife residents are equipped to withstand the extreme cold, ensuring that life in the subarctic is bearable. They also engaged in various winter sports like snowmobiles and ice fishing, seizing the particular chances and difficulties that the chilly weather provides. Yellowknife is one of the greatest sights in the world to see the northern lights. Therefore, visitors often come here to take in this fantastical natural light show. The city's isolated position and unspoiled wilderness contribute to its popularity. Visitors from all over the world come to see the auroras because of this fantastic celestial occurrence, and they are prepared to brave the cold to witness their spectacular splendor. Talon Oh, Estonians love to talk about the weather. Well, mostly trying not to complain about it. Tallinn in winter is a frozen paradise with only six hours of daylight in December. Train and bus rides are magical through this white winter countryside. Its cobbled streets, merchants' houses, medieval city walls, hidden courtyards, and cozy cafes are peacefully atmospheric. The average temperatures of this cold-ish city stay below freezing from December until March, and January and February are the coldest months. With average highs of negative 2 Celsius or 28 degrees Fahrenheit and lows of negative 7 degrees Celsius or 19 degrees Fahrenheit. It can get much colder though, getting down to negative 18 Celsius or 0 degrees Fahrenheit at night. What about the snow, you ask? Well, it's most common in December and January, though there's only a 50 50 chance of a white Christmas in Tallinn. But then when it does snow, there can be a lot of it. So, buddy, if you're moving here, pack a warm coat. Thermal base layers, hand warmers, waterproof boots, a hat, and gloves. Finally, one of the things to do in Tallinn during the winter is to visit the Old Town Square Christmas Market. The Old Town Square has the heart of medieval Tallinn and started life as a market for the city's Hanseatic merchants. They built their houses and warehouses around it, still standing, and painted in pretty pastel shades of pink, blue, and yellow. Keep an eye out for the 13th century Gothic Town Hall with its 64-meter tall tower, or a bit less easy to spot, a stone with a compass rose carved on it right in the middle of the square, if it's not covered in snow. It marks the center of Talon, and if you stand on the spot, you can see the top of Talon's five most famous church spires. In December, the Old Town Square is filled with the stalls of the city's Christmas market, voted the best in Europe. There's a giant Christmas tree, as there has been since 1441, decorated with twinkling lights. Stalls sell traditional Estonian Christmas classics like sausage and sauerkraut or gingerbread, as well as gifts and decorations. Winnipeg 
Winter weather in Canada varies across the country, with each city experiencing its own unique challenges. Winnipeg stands out as a place of some severity. January nights are especially bone chilling, where temperatures routinely dip below negative 21 degrees Celsius in the extremes. The city dealt with weather that felt like negative 45 degrees Celsius on February 18th of 1966, and also negative 47.8 degrees Celsius on December 24th, 1879. Life in Winnipeg doesn't grind to a halt when that snow falls, even though the whole city can be blanketed by snow on the ground for over four months. Uh-uh, that's not an exaggeration. Many Winnipeggers revel in their frigid winters, saying they'd rather have cold, dry winter weather than the damp but mild winters of the West Coast. Big ups to them. Winnipeggers own winter. When it comes to snow clearing, Winnipeg does an excellent job of keeping streets and sidewalks clear. Especially compared to some other cities in the world, it's quite the sight, believe me. A whole convoy of snowplows working their way through the city streets. Finally, while winter in Winnipeg may seem harsh at first glance, it's also a season of great outdoor adventure. There are many exciting activities around the city, from ice skating at the Forks to snowshoeing at Fort White Alive. Tell you what, the Forks is a must-see destination during winter. As temperatures drop, the area transforms, providing a variety of activities for visitors to enjoy. Ice skating on the frozen rivers is a popular activity here. The picturesque skating trail winds through the heart of the area, and skate rentals are readily available at Iceland Skate Rentals within the Forks Market, making it easy for all to participate. Norilsk The city of Norilsk, one of the most isolated spots on Earth, accessible only by plane or boat, is a place of brutal extremes. It is Russia's coldest and most polluted industrial city and its richest at least when measured by the value of its vast deposits of palladium, a rare mineral used in cell phones that sells for more than $1,000 an ounce. Built on the bones of slave prison laborers, Norilsk began as an outpost of Stalin's gulag, a place so harsh that according to one estimate, of the 650,000 prisoners who were sent here between 1935 and 1956, Around 250,000 of them died from cold, starvation, or overwork. The Norilsk camp system, known as Norilog, shut down in 1956 when Nikita Khrushchev began to dismantle the worst excesses of Stalinism. Talking about the weather, it's snow-covered for at least 250 days a year. The sun remains below the horizon from the end of November to mid-January. The average high temperature in January is minus 11 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 24 Celsius. All foreigners are barred from visiting without a permit from Russia's Federal Security Service, the post-Soviet successor to the KGB. During the polar night, the sun doesn't rise above the horizon, leaving the area without light. The period lasts in Norilsk from the end of November until the end of January, and during this time, the body slows down its release of melatonin, causing a lack of deep sleep, increased anxiety, depression, and physical discomfort. Most of the apartments in Norilsk have UV lamps to reproduce natural light. The residents of Norilsk have stayed, turning what until the 1930s had been an Arctic wilderness inhabited only by a scattering of indigenous peoples into an industrial city dotted with smoke-belching chimneys amid crumbling Soviet-era apartment blocks and the ruins of former prison barracks. Most of these residents reside in a 6 to 12-story apartment building, many brightly painted as a brave defense against the weather extremes and the grim surroundings. Banff whether your idea of being immersed in the Canadian Rockies is strolling through snow-covered streets, cozying up by a fire with a decadent hot chocolate, skiing or snowboarding freshly groomed runs, or ice skating over a frozen lake, there are enchanted winter experiences for everyone in Banff and Lake Louise. A Banff winter means it's going to be cold. Statistics say that December is the coldest month in Banff, but the coldest snaps always come in late January and February for many years. I'm talking negative 30 degrees Celsius for days. When the cold snaps come, they typically last for a week or so. 
and they will mellow back down to a mild negative 20 degrees Celsius. Can you tell I'm being sarcastic? Regardless, you need to be prepared for cold weather if you visit any time between November and April. Anyone visiting Banff between November and April must be prepared for winter road conditions. This is especially true when driving the Trans-Canada, the Bow Valley Parkway, and the Icefields Parkway. Alberta roads can become treacherous in the winter, and at the very least, you must have winter tires on your car. Experienced driving in snow is a huge plus. Snowstorms and blizzards are common during this time, and it's essential to pay attention to the weather and stay off the road if there are snowfall warnings. Alta Badia Alta Badia enjoys a cold, temperate climate. July is actually the wettest, with a 122 millimeters, while December is the driest month of the year with an average precipitation of 31 millimeters. The average high temperature is 14.5 degrees Celsius in July, while the average low is negative 4.9 Celsius in January. Alta Badia has a continental climate. It's warm in the summer and cold in the winter, and the average annual temperature for Alta Badia is 8 degrees Celsius, with about 504 millimeters of rain in a year. It's dry 141 days a year with an average humidity of 85% and an ultraviolet index of 2. Park City Located in Utah, USA and is situated at an elevation of 7,000 feet, which has a significant impact on that local climate. Keep in mind that there is a 3 degrees Fahrenheit temperature difference for every 1,000 feet in elevation. So hiking a 3,000 foot trail or taking the gondola could change the temperature 10 degrees Fahrenheit, not to mention the effect of wind. Park City, though located in the southern United States, still has all four seasons. Its high elevation makes for chilly winters, with January temperatures averaging just 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. For the same reason, July averages only reach the mid-70s, making for a relatively mild summer. December and January bring roughly 14 inches of snow, which is appropriate given its status as a ski resort. Well, to keep from getting cold, you should pack your warmest coat, hat, gloves, and a scarf. And if you enjoy skiing in the winter, this is a fantastic location, as there are two resorts close to each other. Moscow Russia is a cold country compared to many others, and winter here is famously frozen. Remember the story of how Russian winters helped defeat Napoleon and Hitler? Russians take enormous pride in enduring the cold. Here in the olden days, they would count the years as the number of winters. Summers are not so long, and usually May can be cold and wet, so it's June, July, and August that can qualify as summer. The rest of the year is cold. Here's a fun fact. December 2018 set the record for the least amount of sunshine seen in Moscow. According to Russia's main weather center, the sun shone for only six minutes in the entire month. Only six. Anyway, multiple factors affect the temperature of this place. One of these is latitude. Others include topography, land and sea locations, ocean currents, and weather conditions. Moscow's latitude is reasonably far north at 56 degrees. But so are several other major European cities. What sets Moscow apart is that it's much further inland, away from the moderating influence of oceans and the Gulf Stream that act as heat sinks. Moscow's climate is basically continental, with greater seasonal variation, so it gets boiling in the summer and freezing in the winter. Perito Marino Glacier A breathtaking natural wonder nestled in the heart of Argentina's Patagonia region. This colossal glacier, located within the confines of the Los Glaciares National Park, is renowned for its stunning beauty and unique behavior that sets it apart from many other glaciers worldwide. Stretching over an impressive 250 square kilometers and boasting an average thickness of 170 meters, the Perito Marino Glacier is a majestic ice formation that captivates all who can witness it. What makes this glacier exceptional is its cyclical pattern of advance and retreat. Unlike the majority of glaciers which are receding due to the effects of climate change, Perito Marino undergoes a periodic process of movement. Every few years, it extends far enough to block the Brazo Rico, 
a narrow channel that separates it from Lake Argentino. The pressure mounts within the channel as the glacier advances, creating an awe-inspiring spectacle. This phenomenon culminates in a dramatic rupture event, where a section of the glacier collapses into the lake with a thunderous roar, sending towering ice chunks crashing into the water below. Tourists flocked the Perito Marino Glacier year-round to witness this extraordinary display of nature. Visitors can explore a network of walkways and viewing platforms that offer panoramic vistas of the glacier, or they can embark on boat tours to get a closer look at the towering ice wall. For the adventurous, ice trekking excursions allow them to walk on the glacier's surface, an experience that provides a profound connection to the glacier's majesty. Beyond its tourist appeal, the Perito Marino Glacier is vital in scientific research. Due to its distinctive cyclic behavior, it offers valuable insights into glaciology and climate change. Wisconsin, famous for its dairy farming and cheese making, welcomes anyone visiting in January or February its coldest months with a weather so hard that it often becomes difficult to stand outside for only a matter of minutes. That's right. In populated regions, temperatures can drop to as low as negative 10 degrees Fahrenheit, while those in the northern highlands can drop to as low as negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. Average highs will be in the low to mid 30s with a high of around 20. It's often windy in the winter, causing it to feel even colder. This is called the wind chill factor. Meanwhile, 1996 saw those temperatures get even more extreme. In the village of Corduroy, February 2nd, 1996, the locals braved a staggeringly cold negative 55 degrees Fahrenheit. This plunged the region into chaos, with businesses closing and road conditions becoming exceptionally dangerous. And of course, with cold weather comes snowfall. The heaviest 24-hour snowfall in recorded Wisconsin history was some time ago. Around 26 inches of snow fell in Nielsville between December 26th and 27th, 1904. Although this happened a very long time ago, this kind of snowfall cannot be ruled out even today. On December 11th of 2010, 22 inches of snow fell in Eau Claire. This might very likely occur this winter as well. Yukutsk a place where the sun barely shines and the cold is a relentless, ever-present force. Welcome to Yakutsk, Russia. A place that doesn't just flirt with the cold, it embraces it, lives it, and thrives in it. Yakutsk isn't just cold. It's one of the coldest inhabited places on our planet. Here the mercury doesn't just dip, it plummets, often diving below a bone-chilling negative 40 degrees Celsius. In such extreme cold, every breath feels like a thousand icy needles, and the very air seems to crystallize before your eyes. But it's not just the cold that's a challenge. In this frigid realm, exposed skin can freeze within mere minutes, turning the simple act of walking outside into a potentially life-threatening endeavor. Frostbite isn't a mere possibility, it's a constant threat, lurking with every gust of icy wind. Now, the city itself, built on a foundation of permafrost, faces its own set of challenges. Buildings and roads warp and twist, victims of the ever-shifting frozen ground beneath. Infrastructure becomes a daily battle against nature's icy grip. And then there's the darkness. In the heart of winter, daylight becomes a fleeting guest, offering only a few hours of dim light before retreating and plunging the city back into a long, cold night. Yet, despite its isolation and the challenges of its remote location, life in Yakutsk persists. But it's a life always on alert. The vast wilderness that surrounds the city is home to cold, adapted creatures like wolves, always on the prowl, always watching. Travel, too, is an adventure in itself. Roads of ice and frozen rivers become lifelines, connecting Yakutsk to the outside world. But they are lifelines fraught with danger where a simple misstep or a moment's inattention can have dire consequences. Do you agree with our picks? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.